My name is Herb Dillahunt. I am the Director of Music Ministries and Organist at Good Shepherd Parish in Braddock, Pennsylvania, a suburb six miles east of Pittsburgh. The cantor for this video is Melissa Kazmarski. Melissa has been a cantor at Good Shepherd for about 20 years. This past summer, I was asked to accompany candidates applying for the Basic Cantor Certificate at the NPM National Convention in Washington, D.C. A significant number of those candidates were not familiar with the formula used to sing the verses of Jelano Psalms. The purpose of this video is a demonstration of that formula. Jelano Psalms are published by GIA Publications. They appear in all GIA hymnals as well as other GIA psalm collections. One resource for Jelano's version of Psalm 23 is in Worship 3. Please take a look there or in whatever hymnal resource you currently use. For demonstration purposes, we will use Psalm 23 found in the Jelano Gradual GIA edition 2124 on page 30. This psalm is one of the options for the basic cantor certificate. Take a look at the page. The response is at the top and the verses are below. Singing the response is self-explanatory. Before singing the text of any psalm, the cantor must first be familiar with the text. It is also beneficial to go to the Bible and read the entire text of Psalm 23. Make sure to do this in your preparation. Now go to the text of the Jelano Psalm 23 and read the words to verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. Notice that certain words in the text are more important than others. For example, Lord, shepherd, nothing, want, fresh, green, and etc. Notice the natural speech and rhythm patterns when you read. The strongest syllable is always on the downbeat. Now incorporate the singing. The singing of the verses requires a knowledge of the formula for Jelano. The measures in the verses are the basis for the rhythmic scheme. None can be eliminated, even the lead verses that do not have any text in them. You must also observe the rests within the verse that are empty in order to match the tone with the text. Each measure should contain one large beat. You can think of each measure as containing one whole note beat. I will play the accompaniment to demonstrate this. When singing the verses of a Jelano psalm, all of the text within each measure must fit within this beat structure. How the beat is subdivided to fit the text 
is at the discretion of the cantor. Use the text, remembering the importance of certain words in the text as a guide. Until the cantor is adept at singing the verses, it is best to stick to the suggested rhythms. As you can hear, the beat from measure to measure must remain constant. The text is subdivided into various rhythms that fit into the large one beat per measure scheme. In time, the cantor can vary the rhythms of the text to better accent certain words or syllables to better match the inflection of the text but the one large beat per measure should not vary. The cantor must always be careful to use good diction to clearly convey the meaning of the psalm. Final consonants are particularly important. Even with careful diction, be careful to keep the steady beat consistent throughout. Now let's try verse 1 again with the varied rhythm. I have found that the ability to vary the rhythms for better text inflection becomes instinctive to the cantor once more experience is gained. Here are verses 2 and 3.
Notice that verses 3 and 4 have seven measures eliminated because their text is shorter. That's what the square brackets represent. These measures are left out when singing these verses. I hope this has been helpful. If you still have questions, please feel free to email me at nazard, N-A-S-A-R-D, at AOL.com. I will be glad to guide you or answer questions during your preparation.